hi, welcome to the Dare to Dream radio show. This is your host, Deborah Dashinger. Thank you for tuning in. And today we're going to be talking about change. And the subject basically is Dare to Dream. How about Dare to Make Your Dream a Reality? I had an aha moment this week. And it really was about how many dreams we all have and lofty goals. But what is it that separates people? The ones who just dream and the ones who actually achieve their dreams. The ones who achieve their dreams make sure to take the steps, both metaphysically in thought, in vision, in words, and definitely on this plane in action. All of that has to take place. So let's just have some discussions about what it takes to do this and some ideas. And I want to let you know, we're on 92.5 KYHY.com. Also, Dare to Dream is on Toginet, T-O-G-I-Net.com. We're heard by virtue of KYHY on the Armed Forces Radio. And if you want to join us on our fan page at Facebook, please do so. We'd love to have you. Just check out Dare to Dream radio and TV interviews and sign up there. So Dare to Dream, make your dreams a reality. First of all, let go of tomorrow, let go of yesterday, be here now. Next, breathe. Let's all do it together. Just breathe and ask yourself this. If you were to leave tomorrow, what would you have wanted to do? That's probably your list of goals. I would imagine your life goals. So make sure to make a list of those because that's what you want to make come true. Take advantage of time. Again, breathe. Is this the first time you're breathing today? Just allow yourself the freedom to open the right door. Believe in yourself. Allow yourself to live every day. Make an amends to let go. I love that, an amends to let go. That's like, I forgive myself for holding on. I forgive myself for not surrendering. I forgive myself for trying so hard to make myself crazy and everybody else around me. Just let go. Surrender. Do what you've always wanted to do and do it without needing anybody else's approval to do it. Live your life. Dance. Enjoy. Have fun. Tell the world you want to live. You can do that with words, but you can also do that by virtue of your personality and you can do that by virtue of what you create. Or by your presence. I want to live. I'm alive. Fully alive in this moment. Breathe. And be here now. Start now. Tell God or whatever you believe in, Buddha, Allah, Goddess, all that is, Source. Just tell the universe what you want to do and what you want to do differently. Listen, get a team. You've got angels, guides, counselors around you all the time. Why not have a full team helping you on the path to your goal? Breathe, let go of all expectations and anxieties. Let go of all issues and just feel Feel yourself breathing in love because everything is going to be okay. And breathe out. Have faith. Let go of your past and let today be a brand new day just by trusting, having faith, and be authentic. Be yourself in all things. Give 100% of yourself in everything you do. You really will be recognized for it. And breathe. Did I mention breathing? It's a good thing to do. And along the way, forgive, let go of all issues, just breathe. Right now is the new opportunity to start anew. Every single day, there are miracles. So here's a little bit of an incentive list for you. First of all, identify a long-term goal. Write out a plan of how to obtain it, then take action every day. Two, volunteer to do something that will help others. Three, create something brand new and show it to someone or to a group. Four, put aside $10 a week through the end of the year. And if you can't do 10, do a dollar. But you will see an accumulation and it will give you a feeling of abundance and prosperity. Five, try something exciting that you have never done before. Forget about the buts, just do it. Six, say no to something you feel obligated to and don't want to do. Seven, go someplace you've never gone before. Eight, Write five thank you notes to people. Nine, list 10 things that you really like about yourself. What makes you special? 
11. Do something to pamper yourself. 12. Identify a healthy, measurable change you'd like to make. Take action. Your living is determined not so much by what life brings to you as by the attitude that you bring to life. Not so much by what happens to you as by the way your mind looks at what happens. Bella Davis, who's an award-winning journalist, said, don't be afraid of the space between dreams and reality. If you can dream it, you can make it so. Alan Cohen said, it takes a lot of courage to release the familiar and seemingly secure to embrace the new, but there is no real security in what is no longer meaningful. There is more security in the adventurous and exciting, for in movement there is life, and in change there is power. This is an excerpt from, from Cahill Gibran. That's a mouthful, Cahill Gibran. And forgive yourself for not being able to say everything correctly. But Gibran wrote a beautiful poem called On Work, and this is just a little piece of it. Always you have been told that work is a curse and labor a misfortune. But I say to you that when you work, you fulfill a part of Earth's furthest dream, assigned to you when that dream was born. And in keeping yourself with labor, you are in truth loving life. And to love life through labor is to be intimate with life's inmost secret. So, in conclusion, remember what excites you. Think of those things, those friends, the adventures that can be yours. Focus, care, fantasize, imagine. It's all so near. Speak as if you're ready. Paste new pictures in your home, in any environment or office that are a vision board or something like a vision board that speak about what you're moving towards, what's your goal, what reality do you want to live in. Physically prepare for the changes that you wish to experience in your life. You know it works. It's time to amaze. That's why you're here. Dare to dream and dare to make your dreams a reality. This is Deborah Dashinger. Thank you for tuning in.